Today, Peppa and George are playing in the sandpit. <laughs> Peppa is playing with toy cars. She has a fire engine, an ambulance, a digger and... George, where's the police car? The police car is lost in the sand. Where did you put it, George? Police car? <laughs> it's OK. We'll find it together. It'll be... Aha! An adventure! Adventure! Peppa and George are pretending they are in a big sandy <laughs> desert. Let's take the fire engine. <laughs> Whee! Whee! <laughs> Whee! <laughs> Peppa and George are using the fire engine to search the sand. Whee! Lucky the hose is full of orange juice. <laughs> Peppa and George love orange juice. <sighs> Come on, we still need to find the police car. Hmm. Hmm. <gasps> Over there. That sounds like. <gasps> I told you we'd find it! Yay! Adventure! <laughs> now we just have to take it out. Beep, 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 beep. Uh, this is going to take forever. Aha! Where are you going, George? <laughs> Turned into a giant. <laughs> Pepper and George have found the police car. Nino, Nino, meow, Is George? Um, hmm. But it looks like they'll have to go on another adventure <laughs> to find the digger. <laughs> Pepper and Susie are pretending to be police officers. <laughs> police, we'll help you. <laughs> Thanks, police officers. You're welcome. Now we must get back to solving crimes. Nino! Bye. Nino! Oh, my! What is it, Madam Gazelle? I think my special pen has gone missing. <gasps> this sounds like a mystery. Oh. Don't worry. Me and Police Officer Susie will solve the case. <laughs> Peppa and Susie are looking for clues to find the special pen. They're using a magnifying glass to make small things look bigger. Aha! Purple. That's the oh. same colour oh. as Danny oh. Dog's T-shirt. <gasps> Have you oh. seen the special pen, Danny? I don't think so. Well, we'd better take you to the police station to ask you some questions. Pepper and Susie have made a pretend police station so they can ask everyone questions about the missing pen. <laughs> it's made from books and pillows. This police station doesn't even have doors. It's a nice place to read, though. Pepper and Susie are asking everybody about the special pen. Oh. They've brought Candy Cat to the pretend police station. Candy Cat, can you? Remember what colour the special pen is? Hmm, red? No, green. Actually, pink. No, uh, blue. Aha, uh -huh. you've been very helpful. Let's take a big look around. The special blue pen must be <gasps> hidden somewhere. 
Peppa and Susie are searching everywhere for the special pen. Ow! But they can't find it anywhere. <laughs> I can't find it anywhere. Hmm. I have an idea. Now, Madam Gazelle is answering questions at the pretend police station. When did you last see your pen, Madam Gazelle? Well, let's see. I used it this morning. Then I put it behind my ear. Oh, my! Yay! Madam Gazelle's special <laughs> pen has been behind her ear all along. We found it! <laughs> we solved the mystery! <laughs> Hooray! Thank you for helping me, Peppa and Susie. I think you would make very good police <gasps> officers. <laughs> <laughs> <gasps> that car went really fast. Don't worry. This is why it's very important to stop, look, listen, and always wait for the green man before crossing the road. The green man! Remember what we learned, children? Stop, look, and listen. All clear. No cars! Let's go. It's safe to cross now. Peppa and her playgroup are learning about road safety today. Hello, Daddy. Hello, Peppa. Peppa's playgroup. Hello, Daddy Pig. Oh, green light. Well, see you later, Peppa. Thank you for helping us, Police Officer Panda. All in a day's work. Peppa is helping Police Officer Panda make sure everyone follows road safety rules. No, no, no. Emily, you need to stay on your side of the road. Sorry, Peppa. My wheel is stuck. We'll come help you. Wee-oo, wee <laughs> We're keeping the road safe for cars and people. <gasps> Pedro hasn't noticed that Green Man has turned to red. Pedro, the red man means don't walk. <laughs> Thanks, Peppa. All in a day's work. <gasps> Wait a minute. Freddy is dressed as a robber. We have to catch the robber. Wee-oo, wee-oo, wee-oo. Oh, the red light means stop. There he goes. Now we've got him. Freddy, are you dressed as a robber because you are a robber? No, I just like stripes. Oh, so you're not a robber? Nope. Oh. Well, you can go then, but not so fast. OK. Bye, Peppa. Ooh. Great work, Officer Peppa. Everyone is remembering to stop, look and listen and only walk when they see... The Green Man. That means we can go. All in a day's work, Officer Panda. Peppa loves keeping everyone safe. And everyone <laughs> loves feeling safe. <laughs> are volcanoes real, Madam Gazelle? They are. Ooh. But do not worry, children. There are no volcanoes close by. Hooray! Except the little pretend ones that we are going to make for today's very special science experiment. Oh. We will make our volcanoes using glue and newspaper. Like this. First, you dip the paper in the glue, and then you stick it all to the beaker, and voila! A volcano! Everyone is enjoying making their volcanoes. The glue is very sticky and messy. <laughs> and soon, they are all finished. <laughs> Wonderful, children. Now it is time to paint your creations. <laughs> Let's make our 
flowers red, Peppa. <gasps> Ours can be blue. Yeah. Green, like a big tree. Real volcanoes are dark and grey with red lava. But Peppa and her friends are making their mini volcanoes bright and colourful. <gasps> now it is time for the science experiment. But first, everyone must put on special gloves, glasses and coats to make sure they are safe. You all look like wonderful scientists, children. Now we are ready to make lava. <gasps> but do not worry. The lava we are making is just pretend and very safe. <laughs> First we add some vinegar to our volcanoes. Be careful not to spill. Uh, uh, <gasps> Perfect. And now I will add a secret magic ingredient to each of your volcanoes. Nobody knows what the special magic ingredient is. Finally, take your cup of baking soda and pour a little inside the volcano. Then stand back. Madam Gazelle's volcano is erupting just like a real volcano. Your turn, children. Hooray! <laughs> wow! The lava is red. Ours is blue. Candy Cat and Gerald Giraffe's lava is green and very foamy. I think we made too much lava. No, Candy. You made a muddy puddle. Everyone loves making volcanoes, but everyone really loves making colourful, muddy puddles. Today, Peppa and her family have come to London to watch Super Potato, the musical. Goodness! We'd better get walking or we'll miss the start of the show. Oh, no! We're going to get all wet. Not to worry, we can take the underground train instead. Hooray! The underground train is underground. <laughs> it never rains underground. <laughs> and there is a colourful map that shows where all the trains go. It looks like spaghetti. So, we are here. And we need to get here. We can take the blue train first. And then, take the red train. Yes, well done, Peppa. Off we go. First, Peppa must have her ticket checked by the ticket barrier. <laughs> Thank you, ticket robot. I'm stuck. Hold tight, Peppa. I'll get you out. Thank you, Miss Rabbit. This way, Peppa. Follow the blue line, everyone. Um, I'm stuck too. <laughs> the train is arriving at the platform from a very dark tunnel. The train is very, very busy. Why is everybody rushing? They are in a hurry. Everyone on the underground train is in a hurry. On we go. Watch your step, everyone. Hello, everyone. Welcome aboard the blue train. Mind the doors. Hold on, Peppa. The underground train is very bumpy. <laughs> on your left, you'll see under the ground. And on your right, you'll see even more under the ground. Change here for the red train. The red train? That's us. Watch your step, George. Hold tight, everyone. <laughs> we're here, we're here. The show starts in a few minutes. We might miss the beginning. Oh, no, you won't. Follow me. I'll get you to Super Potato the Musical on time, or my name isn't... Super Potato! Hooray! <laughs> Big 
celebrity coming through. Make way for the star, thank you. <laughs> no autographs today. Super Potato is in a hurry too. Everyone on the underground train is in a hurry. Hello everyone, I'm Pepper, the dentist. I'll help you look after your teeth. Whoa! Today, Miss Rabbit has come to teach Peppa's playgroup about teeth. Peppa is pretending she is a dentist. <laughs> Got you. For you. Thank you, Peppa. Well, now that you've caught your teeth, <laughs> who knows what we can do to look after them? Um. um. <laughs> Go to the dentist? That's right. Who has been to the dentist before? Me, 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 Gerald Giraffe has not been to the dentist before. Can I show Gerald what it's like at the dentist, Miss Rabbit? I've been lots of times. What a great idea. <laughs> Peppa is pretending she is the dentist and Gerald is the patient. Hello, Mr Gerald. Please sit on this enormous chair. <laughs> Thank you, Mrs. Dentist. Here is your apron. <laughs> <gasps> Why do I need glasses, Mrs. Pepper? For this big light. Please open wide, like this. Ah! So I can see your teeth. Ah! Pepper is using the torch to see Gerald's teeth. You have very nice teeth, Mr. Gerald. So you get a sticker. Thank you. <laughs> Hooray! Hooray! Well done, Pepper and Gerald. <laughs> Does anyone know a way we can look after our teeth at home? Um, but, uh, we can brush our teeth. That's right, Susie. Brushing our teeth keeps them clean. Shall we practice brushing our teeth? Yes! <laughs> Miss Rabbit is giving everyone toothbrushes so they can practice brushing their teeth. First, we get the brush wet. <laughs> <laughs> then we put some toothpaste on. Everyone is adding little dollops of toothpaste to their toothbrush. But Candy has added a big dollop. Now what do we do, class? We... Brush! <laughs> Remember to brush the front and the sides, tops and bottoms. Well done, everyone. <laughs> everyone did very well today, so everyone gets stickers. Peppa likes pretending to be a dentist, and Peppa really likes stickers. It is bedtime, but George isn't sleeping, so neither are Peppa or Daddy Pig. What now? We've already read every bedtime story. There is one book we haven't read. I've been saving it for an emergency. The very long and very boring story to help sleepy pigs fall asleep. The very long and very boring story to help sleepy pigs fall asleep? Yes, the very long and very boring story to help sleepy pigs fall asleep. Once upon a time, there was a hero named... Super Pepper! <laughs> um, yes, Super Pepper. Whee! She spent all her days helping the people in her neighborhood. Uh -oh. Until one day, she heard about a jumping giant who wouldn't stop shaking the town. The giant won't stop jumping. I'll help you. Super Pepper found the jumping giant. Dinosaur. Oh, 
Yes, George. The jumping dinosaur. Super Pepper tried everything she could to stop the jumping dinosaur from jumping. Like asking him very politely. Yes. <laughs> uh, excuse me. Mr. Dinosaur, sir. Excuse me. They tried some bedtime music. This will put him to sleep. <sighs> so relaxing. But the music only gave the dinosaur more energy. Super Pepper tried giving the jumping dinosaur a warm bath. Oh! <laughs> wow! She tried giving him cozy pajamas. She even tried counting stars. One, two, three, four, five! That's everything we did. There's nothing left to try. The bedtime story has helped George fall asleep. Hooray! Thank you for your help, Pepper. Sweet dreams. Thank you, Daddy Bert. Now I'm not tired. Can you finish the story? Pretty cool, eh, Pepper? <laughs> We're getting shoes for George, not you. Oh, yes. Today, George is <laughs> buying some new shoes. Hello, Miss Rabbit. We need some new shoes for George. <laughs> George's shoes are very old. Well, you're in luck. The shoe shop has lots oh. of shoes. We'll find George the perfect pair. Hooray! First, we need to measure your feet. Pop your foot in the measurer, please. <laughs> Miss Rabbit is measuring George's feet to help him find shoes that are the right size. Your feet are very small. That's because George is a baby. <laughs> no. George is not a baby. Follow me. <laughs> oh. We keep all our very small shoes over here. Which shoes do you ah. like, George? Shoes! <coughs> Those are bowling shoes. George <laughs> loves to oh. go bowling. And he oh. loves bowling <laughs> shoes. Are you sure you want those shoes, George? <laughs> shoes! Shoes! <coughs> Those are tap dancing <laughs> shoes. <laughs> They're very noisy! George loves to make lots of noise. Maybe too noisy. <laughs> shoes! They are clown shoes. Uh -huh. George loves clown Whoa. shoes. Whoa. <laughs> They're too big. And George is very small. <laughs> shoes! Shoes! <laughs> George tries on lots of shoes. Tall ones. Little ones. And even silly ones. But none of them are quite right. Shoes! Dinosaur! They are slippers, George. They are not shoes. <laughs> shoes! These are just like your old <gasps> shoes. Shoes! George would like ah. new shoes ah. that are just <laughs> like his old <laughs> shoes. Jolly good. We'll take them, please, Miss Rabbit. Miss Rabbit? Phew! I'm under here! Oh. Shoes! <laughs> George loves his new shoes and he loves the shoe shop. Everyone loves the shoe shop. Today, Mummy and Peppa have brought George Yay! to the doctor's for a checkup. Hello, I'm Dr. Peppa Pig. <laughs> Hello, Dr. Peppa Pig. I'm Nurse Miss Rabbit. And this is Dr. Brown Bear. Ready for your checkup, George? No! 
George has never been to the doctor's before. He is a little nervous. Don't worry, George. The doctors just want to make sure you feel good. Exactly. Come on in and don't forget your little red book. <laughs> First, Miss Rabbit and Dr Brown Bear need to check George's height. <gasps> Step this way, please, George. No! But George isn't sure he'll like the height measurer. <laughs> How tall am I, Miss Rabbit? Wow! You're getting very tall, Peppa. You'll be a big grown-up soon. <laughs> George wants to know if he is very tall too. Wow! You're so big and tall, George. <laughs> now it's time to check George's weight with a special machine called scales. This machine will tell us how much you weigh, George. And it's really good <laughs> for bouncing. <laughs> George loves bouncing. <laughs> and freeze. <gasps> mm -hmm. And unfreeze. <laughs> <laughs> now it's time to listen to George's heart with a special tool called a oh. stethoscope. Oh. Mm. This might be a little cold. <laughs> the stethoscope is very cold. Oh. Try this, George. <gasps> you can listen to my heartbeat too. George likes listening to Peppa's heart. <laughs> Yay! You did very well today, George. So you get a sticker. Oh. Daisy. <gasps> <laughs> and one for Dr. Peppa Pig for being so helpful too. Hooray! <laughs> Today, Peppa and her family are exploring an air show. Miss Rabbit is flying a hot air balloon. The sky is full of hot air balloons. Wow, there's so many of them. A cloud, a broccoli, a clown, a dinosaur. <laughs> <laughs> yes, very good, George. What's that? That is a biplane, Pepper. What is it doing? Some planes can write messages or draw in the sky. The biplane has drawn a picture of Pepper in the sky. It's me. Hello, everybody. Hello, Hello Doctor, Doctor Hamster. Hamster. Thank you for the sky picture. You're very welcome. <laughs> Off I go. What's this? Is that another hot air balloon? This is a blimp. It floats like a balloon but has little propellers that help it fly along like a plane. Peppa and George think the blimp is very exciting. Would you all like a ride? Blimp, yeah. blimp, blimp! The blimp is taking off into the sky. We're so high up. This is the captain's announcement. In the sky, you'll see a bird. Hello, bird. A cloud. <laughs> Hello, clouds. Oh, and Dr. Hamster. <gasps> Hello again. There's so many buttons. Oh, yes. It takes lots of work to pilot a blimp like this. So please don't press any buttons. Um... <laughs> This steering wheel helps move the blimp in different directions. Up and down and side to side. <laughs> and the radio Ooh. lets us make announcements to the whole air show. Ooh, can I make a pronouncement? I have a very important pronouncement to make. Of course. <clears throat> Hello, I'm Peppa Pig. 
I'm in a blimp, which is a bit like a balloon, but also a plane. <laughs> I hope you all have a lovely time at the air show. Oh dear, we've forgotten one very important oh. thing. A pilot hat <laughs> for Pepper and George. I'm Pilot Pepper. Pilot! Pepper loves the air show. Everyone loves the air show. <laughs> <laughs>